right? This is to show you the mindset of, of Israel and how much a lot of uh, Jake didn't want to accept Yahweh This is a uh, uh, E uh, Edomite speaking right here. This is a uh, Saint John eighteen and thirty eight. Pilate said unto him, "What is truth?" And when he had said this, he went out again unto the Jews, and saith unto them, "I find in him no fault at all." This is a uh, Edomite saying that. So I don't see. I don't even see nothing wrong. This this is sad. Uh, Edomite said it, and we know he's the damn devil. The Bible speak of the damn devil himself couldn't even find no occasion. And this is why we say sometimes we're going to jump over you two thirds. I mean Edomites to get to you two thirds. Satan in the flesh couldn't even find a, a issue. Verse 38 at the end, it gives, I find in him no fault at all. But ye have a custom that I should release unto you one at the Passover. Will ye therefore that I release unto you the king of the Jews? So there was a custom that every year, you know, the Romans was like, all right, we got to deal with you and the Jews. You know, every year we'll release somebody. Kind of like, think about like, uh, what's that? I think Kwame Kilpatrick he got what the, uh, was it pardoned or, or recruited or something like that? But, uh, by, by Trump. And, uh, a lot of people got let out of jail. So they was like, he was like, I, I, I'll give you, how about we do it uh, almost like a prisoner swap, basically. So it was an ultimatum. With, do you want the king of the Jews? Do you want Yahweh Shai, the one that's going to give you salvation, the one that the Bible had prophesied? Do you want your king to be released? Or do you want to? Just some random nigga in the world. Which would you rather have? Is the question that he's proposing. Now let's read the answers. Then, verse 40, 18 and 40. Then cried they all again, saying, Not this man, but Barabbas. Now, Barabbas was a robber. A stick-up dude. They said they would rather have Barabbas, a stick-up man, than salvation. Life and death was, was presented to him. Now, did everybody say that? No, but the majority cried. That's why they heard the voice. Because the, the, the majority of people, their voice was loud. Two thirds is more than one third. And they have a very, very loud, very, very loud voice. Imagine that. That's that's equivalent of saying today, would you rather have Yahweh Shai come back? Or would you rather have uh uh some serial uh, rapist pedophile. I can't think of anybody right now who's who's behind bars. Did some like heinous act. I can't think of any I'm drawing a blank. But imagine hearing that and then saying, "I'd rather have this person." That's the attitude of a lot of Jakes here today. That their priorities all messed up. You got life presented unto you, and you're choosing death. Now, I want to go into something real quick. This is a 
John 18, verse, what is it, 40? This is... This is uh, G nine twelve for Barabbas, and now it is a conjunction of two words. It's a uh, bar and. Abbas and uh, wait one second. Okay, this is matter of fact, I'm gonna go to Luke 23 and 18. And Luke 23 and 18, and they cried out all at once saying with this man and release unto Barabbas unto us Barabbas now Barabbas is not G912 now Barabbas bar means son bun means son as well like bunyamian Bar means son, such as Simon, Bar Jonah. Simon meaning Bar meaning son of Jonah. So Bar means son. Abba means father. They don't realize that they're saying is son of the father. They're saying release the son of the father. They don't even realize that they're saying it. But Jake doesn't realize today they deny Yahweh Shai in, in so many ways. And it's our salvation. But scripture had to be fulfilled. Yahweh Shai had to die on the cross for our, our sins and for his sins. His sin specifically as he, when he was Solomon. If you knew that might have went over your head, but stay tuned. We'll break that down one day about Yahweh Shai when he sinned as Solomon. But as we are basically still in the Feast of Unleavened Bread, I just wanted to bring that out. You know, we have a, a very interesting. Uh, a, a inter we have a very very interesting dilemma when you have what's going on right now is are we in the feast of unleavened bread man world has gotten crazy I mean so much stuff is popping up in the news daily you know I, I, and forget watching regular basic cable TV all you gotta do is, is watch the news you gotta do what did he dumb did he d being uh, put on blast, whoever the elites he done uh, messed over. You got that uh, bridge that just basically collapsed when a, a, a tanker ran into it. Uh, now. 50 Cent, Curtis Jackson is being accused of great by his uh, former, or not former, but his, his child's mother. Man, we in an interesting time. This year has been coined the hopeful year of the, uh, of the time of Jacob's trouble. We're praying for the time of Jacob's trouble. Why? Because we understand that's biblical prophecy and it has to happen. And that is the Father's will. We pray that his will be done. 
And that's part of his will. The closer Jacob's trouble happens, the closer we are to getting the hell up out of here. But the time to get right is now. You want to do what you can to make your call and election sure so you can get that hedge. Hey, we're going to have to go through the hour of temptation resisting that, that, that C-hip. What are you going to do? And on that note, I'm going to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai by Shem and Kakwadash. Double honor to the elders of GMS. We're well. Peace, salutations, and shalom.